Hey, you guys. It's Monday. I want to watch the Goonies now. Yeah, it's the May 2 4 weekend, and I don't know if you guys have that in the States, but we have it in Canada. If you live in Canada, you know what it entails, so I'm just, I'm really tired right now. I just want to sleep, but um, I think my brain melted, so I don't know how weird this video is going to be, so I'm just going to apologize in advance. Like, I couldn't post a video today because something about his house is filled with assholes, and my house is generally filled with assholes, so I feel your pain. I feel you. I feel you, Micah. I feel you in my heart, and I don't even know you, and now we're saying... But, okay, I need to start this video now. So we're gonna talk about our favorite things about the other people on this channel this week because I got to pick the theme this week and I'm really cheesy like that. I'm sorry. Um, so we'll call it Dan's Cheesy Theme Week and let's go. Yeah. Micah. Micah is basically walking, talking, je ne sais quoi. I mean, to say he's unique is redundant. He's the kind of person that you want to make those teen subculture-based films about just because they're so damn interesting that someone had to. And I mean good teen subculture, not bad teen subculture. There's a very fine line. So fine that I would tap it. That fine. And you're on the good side. Very good side. I think that came off as an insult, I meant it lovingly. Do you remember this? I don't know what to do with this, my dog ate half of it, but I don't want to throw it out, and so I, I can send it to you if you want, I don't really know. Ah, uh, the beginning days of Stacey and the Sausages. Devil phone! <laughs> the phone is so loud. Stacey, what do I say about Stacey? She's like my best friend. The coolest thing about Stacey is that I get to witness her at every stage as an artist. Like, I get to see her song from beginning to end, and then I get to see it posted on the internet, and it always blows my mind, even though I see it all the way through. We have, like, this unbreakable relationship where we don't have to be together all the time, and it's just the perfect thing that I cannot express to you. I cannot articulate how good it is. It's just really, really good, and it means a lot to me. This is really cheesy. Ah, so cheesy. Zach. You make me at peace with the theater world. I think that you'll do really well, and it's a really cutthroat industry, so I just, I believe in you, you know? And that's, that's, um, I love you. I don't, I don't know. I'm so not eloquent at all. Jordan. I mean, what do you say about Jordan? We're talking about quite possibly the most genuine person that I've met in my life. Did I mention that I'm sharing a room with him and Stacey at 789? It's going to be ridiculous. I... I enjoy our late night talks about art. I think that out of everyone that I talk to art about, you're one of my favorites because you have a really interesting perspective of everything and I just, uh, I just love you guys so much. Just mm, love. And you're all really pretty. I really like pretty people. I mean, we all know how much I love pretty people. You're all out. I'm not gonna be here next week because I'm going to a City in Color concert. No big deal, just a god of music. No big deal. The week after, I will see you guys. But it's a few days after prom, after prom is Stacey's 18th birthday, so it'll probably just be me dying in front of a camera. Yes. Mm. I love you. Peace. Easy. 